Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to have this opportunity to share my thoughts at the ILO Global Summit on COVID-19 and the world of work, building a better future of work. I wish to appreciate the efforts that all countries have taken for smooth sailing of their world's tour of work at this sensitive period when we all are fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 posed us with perhaps the greatest human crisis in the modern period. As a result, the world of work is undergoing a massive reorganization in the post-COVID-19 period in developed as well as developing countries alike. Sri Lanka is a developing economy with a sensitive to external determinants. We paid particular attention to safeguard our workforce from the shock wave that was created by the impact that this pandemic had on the global economy. We have an active labor force of 8 0.6 million out of which the private sector employs nearly 3.5 million. The social security measures that we introduced during the COVID outbreak covered all sectors of this workforce. The most notable one was the payment of a fixed monthly allowance of rupees 5,000 to the most affected self-employed categories in our workforce during April and May. These included all employees on a daily wage as well as many other vulnerable categories such as preschool teachers and self-employed persons. Sri Lanka has a considerable workforce that is employed outside the country. Even during the period where restrictions for air travel were imposed, we have repatriated nearly 15,000 Sri Lankans from destinations abroad so far. Although this made a considerable change to our overall employment profile, our aim was to secure the lives of our workforce. This fraction of the labor force will now have the choice to join the local labor force without returning to their original countries of employment. This in turn will shape the new normal of our world of work. Skills sector of Sri Lanka required a rethinking and re-engineering in order to accommodate the new normal of the post-COVID period. Reskilling and upskilling of employees will be addressed in our action plan to empower those who lost employment during this crisis. Sri Lanka has pledged to eliminate hazardous child labor by 2022. Abiding by this commitment, our Department of Labor continue to conduct investigations on complaints received regarding hazardous child labor even during the lockdown period of COVID-19 outbreak. Providing an umbrella covered to activities related to the labor force is the Tripatriate Task Force chaired by our Minister of Labor. This task force acts as a point of convergence where employment security, wage reconsideration and all related issues are discussed between representatives of employers employees and the labor officials. Excellencies, I believe that the COVID-19 situation globally has not reached an equilibrium where countries can start having long-term plans. However, it has given ample opportunities for creating a new normal in the short term and considering it in the medium term. Sri Lanka views this as a stepping stone towards reshaping her world of work to suit 
the new normal in the post covid-19 period i sincerely hope and wish that this opportunity will serve as a means for all countries to realign their worlds of work accordingly and emerge safer and stronger after this global calamity